Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's Frank from F-Files, and I'm back for another Woe Long video, Fallen Dynasty. Again, it's been a great game so far, and I um, really enjoy it. So, today, what we're going to be talking about is the stats and how to make your character what you want, strong strong capabilities and whatnot. So, there's a, a couple things in this game that are important. Now, the chi obviously is important for leveling up, which I'm about to show you now, because I have a good amount of chi for defeating that boss. Um, it looks like I unlocked co-op, which is kind of cool. But anyways, let me level up. Um, it looks like Fire is definitely one of the ways to go because you gain spirit for attacking. Um, I also would recommend wood and earth. Earth is very important too from just because deflecting is so important. Now, I'm going to go again with fire with this one. And it looks like I can't level up any further. Now, wizard tree spells. These are very important, I've learned. Um, we're going to go... So, uh, let me get into this stance. Learn the wizard tree spells. We're going to go to... The, the wood phase one is important. So here. Okay, so... This is something you really want to get. It's called Absorb Vitality. So you and your nearby allies can restore HP upon dealing damage to enemies. Listen, in any kind, you know, in any kind of Souls game, it's important to get, if you can get some HP back without using a potion, that's fucking good. That's golden right there. So we're definitely going to hit that one up. Definitely hitting that one up. And then, um, yeah, uh, so that, that was one of the main highlighted so I wanted to talk about. So definitely hit that tree up as soon as possible. For a certain, this, now, for this, it says for a certain period of time, enchant your current melee weapon with lightning. Okay, that's also something that's pretty cool, too. But, um, anyways, so we got that. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that's a passive ability or... Let me see. I'm going to look at the little video. Oh, no. Okay, so that's a buff. That's a buff you want to use. I guess when you, you know, before you hit hit combat or go into a fight, you want to hit that buff. And I'm probably going to use that buff. Def definitely over the lightning bolt because the lightning bolt is bullshit. Definitely. Okay. And then the, fl the, bl the blasting fireball is actually pretty very well very useful as well now other spells I wanted to talk about are these fire spells these fire fire spells are very aggressive and they are your damage dealing mayhem oh what am I doing here what's going on I'm fucking up guys okay so hurls a mode of fire Ooh. Keep hitting the stupid fucking button. Okay. Yeah. So you want to be able to hurl. You know. You know. You want. You want to arrange attack. So that's kind of cool too. And um, this is let's see amplify fire for a certain period of time increases both the damage you deal to enemies and receive from them. Now, I'm guessing that's a buff for damage in general. Which, to be honest with you, that's pretty fucking. Pretty fucking cool, too. Enchant your career melee weapon with flame. Now, we want that, too, definitely. Um, then we got a fire wave. We got multiple fireballs. And now, the, the large fireball. And I know that is definitely imperative. I know that. If you're going spellcaster, you definitely want that. Um... I'm going to go with this, definitely, because um, it
it just brings me closer to enchanting my weapon with flame, which is what I want eventually. Now, earth. Now, earth we want. Let's see, some of the rock pillars in front of you, they will explode, knock enemies away from you on contact. So this is more of like a damn like a AoE damage or a stun lock control, which is nice, I guess. Um, for a certain period of time, you receive less damage from enemies and will not flinch except from more powerful attacks. Okay, so there you go. There's a nice little dam a debuff for damage. Uh, for a certain period of time, grants you the ability to increase enemy stone ailment and accumulation flecking. Yeah, that's, that, that's nice. Um, for a certain period of time, enchant your current melee weapon with stone, I guess. I mean, I don't know what that means. I guess there's rocks on your weapon. That's kind of kind of weird. Reduces spirit damage received from enemy attacks and grants single use effect that prevents your morale or rank from decreasing when you are dealt a critical blow by an enemy. Okay, so that basically saves your morale. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about this that's very important in this game. Every time you kill something or you hit, you use it, you, you know, you hit a critical blow or whatever, whatever you get morale. Morale, it, you do lose morale when you die, or if you get hit or hurt. Morale basically increases how powerful you are. You can max your morale out to 25, and what you want to do is you really basically want to you want to keep that morale up. You want to you you want to be checking that. You want to be you know bringing that up. It's basically the souls of Dark Souls. You know, you don't want to lose them, and you lose them by getting hurt or dying. So it would be nice to, you know, eventually spec into anything that would prevent you from losing that that morale. But um, so for now, I'm gonna go with. I mean. Uh, I guess I guess the damage debuff would be nice, but I'm kind of I've got I already got these like these. I don't know. See, I'm not sure if they stack with each other or if one negates the other when you buff yourself. So that's something I gotta figure out. Um, I'm thinking that it's that's how it goes, but uh. I mean, I'm, I'm liking the shockwave. Generates a whirlpool of sand that draws enemies from the center. So you can draw enemies and then you can shoot them away with the rocks. Um, okay. Generates a pillar in front of you that lingers temporarily and explodes on the enemies touch. Okay, so that's like a claymore, basically. You know, a rock claymore. <laughs> um... Leash is an attack using any power using power of earth base. Okay. Uh, I mean it's, it's hard to say which which way to go with this with this talent tree, I'm not gonna lie. For a certain period of time creates an invisible shield around you that absorbs a certain amount of damage. See I right, I'm gonna go with definitely I'm gonna go with this. Because we want the damage debuffs, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, you know, an expert in this shit. But damage debuffs are are always good, I would say, in these kind of games. And then the morale thing, we'll definitely go with the morale thing. You know what I mean? Because, um, like I said, morale is very important in this game. Apparently, from what I hear. Now, let's see, releases a curse. Alright, so now we're at the metal. We're at the metal element. Now, this this is the first thing. It says, re release a curse bolt to the front. Enemies hit will, rec will recover from spirit disruption more slowly for a certain period of time. Okay, so, 
basically, you know, um, you know, it, uh, basically, we call it, I'm just, basically staggers your enemy, you know what I mean, and so, I mean, that's, that's definitely not a bad move to have on your belt, do I think it's necessary, no, I don't, um, because this game is very fast paced, it's secure-ish, I mean, honestly, you pretty much get up in someone's grill and you slash the fuck out of them, so, no, The one thing that's different about this game is there's there's definitely a lot of weapons and different ways of using them. So I can't really kind of excited to tell you to get more weapons. To be honest with you, um, although I'm I'm liking the, the you know the standard samurai sword. But, you know, I'm just kind of old fashioned that way. So this is let's see releases bubbles of poison that will burst and generate a poison bog when they hit the enemies on the terrain. The bog will cause damage over time and touch some enemies. Now, damage over time is always good. Um, yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I might, I mean, but we got to see what we, what's ahead of the game, too. You know, what's, what's up next? Amidst a poison fog, poison fog causes damage over time. Okay, so another damage over time. Um, and then we got releases a bubble of poison that bursts and generates... Poison bogs. These bogs will cause damage over time. All right, so that's just a wider spread of the the same move. Um, do that. These these don't tie into each other at all, do they? You know. For a certain period of time, enchant your weapon with toxic. All right, so so we want. I, I'm I'm liking the toxic for the weapon. I mean, the flame's good too, but I'm liking the toxins. Um, so that, 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 that actually wins my favor a little bit as well. Emits a poison fog to sweep within a cone-shaped area and an area effect. Okay, so you basically, it's like you're kind of like farting all over the place and spray a fucking poison at everybody in front of you. Um, the priest is the same thing, same thing. Just shoot, sh shoots poison all over the place, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if I have the camera angle right. Um, I apologize. Let me see real quick. I'm adjusting to this new, this new camera angle and TV that I have set up. I have. Um, I apologize, but that's probably the best I'm, I'm going to get for you guys right now. Now, okay. So, next one. Um. Amidst a poison sweep within a cone. Uh, we already looked at that one. Now this is the final one for this tree. Releases a curse bolt to the front that will form a poison fog or around. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I zoomed out for a second. Release a curse bolt to the front that will form a poison fog around the enemy. It hit. That enemy it hits the fog will cause damage over time and enemies touching it. Okay, so that's basically a um, a straightforward you know poison bolt basically. Probably does a lot of damage because it's pretty basic and it's at the top of the tree, so I'm sure it does a good amount of damage. Now <clears throat> this is at the other top of the tree. Releases a cursed bolt that creates thorns on contact with the enemies on terrain. Enemies that step on the thorns will be slowed for a certain period of time. Okay, that's nice because, with, you know, say you're getting chased, you know, you slow people down. And, yeah, so that's cool. Um, releases a metal phase attack that deals damage and, and, and to the enemies that it touches. If those enemies are inflicted with any ailments, they will be fully cured and they will take additional damage corresponding to the number of ailments cured. Okay, so basically, you poison a motherfucker, and then you hit that, and then the poison blows up and does the damage over time at once. Now, that's... That's strong. It doesn't sound like it, but that, that's very strong. Um... 
Where are we going with this one? Hmm. You know, last time I was pretty sure. Right, well, It's kind of nice. If I sleep, just let me yeah, sleep. You don't want to hear yeah. a debuff on their damage. We'll receive more damage for a certain period of time. Alright, so it's either they receive more damage or they do less damage. You know, I don't know. I feel like I do enough damage, so. Maybe, maybe them not doing damage would be better in that instance, but for now we have to pick the out of the two, these two, so, release a curse bolt to the front of the enemy, blah, 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 slowly, for, for damage over time. Um, I'm thinking for throwing the bolts. Increases the accumulation of all status effects, delta enemies. Okay, so that's really good. That's an overall good buff for all these spells. So we definitely want to go with that. Um, yeah, for this tree we're going definitely with this one, and then we'll we'll, we'll start with this too as well. All right, so now over to water. So let's see what we got with water here. For a certain period of time, reduces consumption of spirit when deflecting. Okay, okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's a buff, so we're going to have to buff it every time. And that's, that's kind of annoying. I mean, I wish she, this would be, she should be passive abilities, a lot of these, I feel. Set an icy trap by your feet. Enemies that step on the trap will be impaled by sharp icicles and take damage. That's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Nice little trap. Whatever. I'm not really into the traps, though, because of the movement and the, and the aggressiveness. So, summons a sharp pointed icicle in the front. The icicle will accelerate forward towards the enemy on your prior to casting the spell. Like, okay, I like a, a nice icicle bolt. That's, that's not bad. For a certain period of time, turns your body inv invisible and undetectable by enemies. Now that's nice for killing blows. Okay, we definitely want that. We definitely want that. Generates a large icicle to the front of the, and the icicle will accelerate. Blah, blah, blah. So, a uh, better version. Better version of the first move. And then. This one is generates a fog in the area that affects enemies in the proximity with reduced targeting ability of a certain period of time. Okay, so that's a uh, basically a gas cloud that confuses people. Oops. And now, finally, the end of the talent tree releases a curse bolt that creates a mysterious fog on contact with enemies. A terrain enemy that will reduce targeting ability. Okay, so. That is the bolt, but with, it's basically the bolt combined with, with, uh, fog. So that's not, that, that's not bad. It's not bad to go with. Um, let's see, what do we got here? I mean, we can go straight up to this to increase his movement speed for a certain period of time. That's a buff. Now... Don't get me wrong, that's always useful, obviously. Okay, allows you to instantly teleport into a certain distance. Okay, so basically we got a little teleportation going on. So this is about movement right here. That's not bad. Now, what we got here on, uh, this is the more um, intricate, if we're going like full water, I guess. Um, sets an icy trap. We already went through that. Curls a blast of ice shards, continuing to shoot by, holding down the input and wizardry spells. Okay, so that's like a, um, looks like a consistent blast, a blast of, um, bicycles or whatever the fuck it is. 
uh, creates a frost that turns into a, an icy pillar after a certain period of time. The icy pillars will accelerate forward and toward the target that was locked on into when they were summoned. Okay, that's not bad either. Um, uh, I don't know if it's that useful though, but you know, you gotta get it to get certain things. Um, but we can also go, we can go either way with this one. So that's pretty cool. Summons a target, a large icicle to fall on and locked on target. Point to a certain distance in the front. Okay, that probably does a devastating amount of damage. Which is nice. Um, what's this do? Hurls a blast of ice shards, continuing shooting by holding down and then for wizardry spells. Why does it seem like that does the same thing? Oh, wait, wait, okay. Creates a frost that turns into icy pillars after a certain period of time, I suppose, and accelerate forward toward the target that is locked on. Okay, I like that because that, that just basically it um, summons something that will eventually attack. It's almost like if you played Elden Ring, it's it's kind of like the uh, the swords that come, the glintstone sword, sword almost. Now this is let's see, this is the entry thing. Summon small icicles that continuously fall on the locked target and point at a certain type of distance. Okay, so that's like an ice rain. Um, okay, well we're definitely obviously going with this. Uh, looks like I, what am I out of? I'm out of, I'm out of something. Okay, well. Okay, so let's that's, that's uh. Oh wait, no, I already did the hard unlock that. I'm stupid. Okay, so increases movement speed for a period of time. Um, what's this do again? Uh, see, I don't know if that's something that I should be worried about getting. To be honest. Give me one second, guys. Um, one second here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into this yet. Um, we'll look further into it, but I know this is definitely the way to go for the other spell, so we're going to go with it. Set an icy trap, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, yeah, so sets an ice. So what I went with was set an icy trap by your feet. Enemies that step in the trap will be impaled by sharp icicles to take damage. Okay, so basically, you know, you set it down, you wait for them to come at you, and you hit them with some damage. Yeah, useful. Well, we'll see. We gotta test it out. All right. So there goes wizard shit. Um, well, I'm going to set my spells up now. Um. Okay. So the fire blast is definitely something nice. Um, but I want to go with the frozen spear. Uh, that's the trap. Cloud stance, gravity bolts. Uh, so that's the damage debuff. Um, got the, and then there's the slow debuff. Rock toughness, spear down, receive by enemy attacks. Alright, we definitely want the morale one. We definitely want that. And, and, then, and then Fire Blast. I, th I feel like Fire Blast is nice. But I kind of want something ranged. And Lightning Bolt's good. Um, I'm going to go back to all here. Um, let's see. Amplified damage actually it's kind of risky because it makes them stronger as well. So you pretty much gotta know that you're fucking. So all right, I'm gonna go with defensive. 
because um, I'd rather take less damage because if I feel like I can already deal a decent amount of damage on that. So we got, so for now I'm running enhanced damage, cloud stanch for, um, you know, for a trap. Or what is it? Let's see. Spirit when deflecting. Deflect. Oh, you know what? I can actually change that. I don't like that. Um, that's also another damage debuff. Um, we got the rock toughness we're already running. We'll go with Fire Blast for now. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to spec into... I'm definitely going to have to spec into the Fireball Throws. Flame Weapon. Burning Flame Wave. So I'm gonna have to next time I'm gonna have to put some points in the other tree for sure. Alright, so that covers wizard tree. Okay. Now so there's a lot of things I want to show you guys. Um so you're four okay so there's another thing that's very important when you're wearing your equipment you want to make sure that you are in the green status meaning you don't you, like it's basically you know if you're wearing too much armor or your weight is too heavy you'll do a fat roll but i will say rolling in this game is useless so it's all about really deflecting but I read online that you know you don't really want to be doing fat rolls. Oh look, I, I unlocked something cool. Oh wow, nice little little drip drip action there. That's pretty cool. Definitely, we'll go with that. It's pretty cool. That weighs a lot less. Um, yeah, cool. And then what do we got here? The generals. A set bonus. There's a set bonus for this bitch. Uh, weighs less armor too. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Then we still got the yellow turban crap that I hate. Um. But we'll, we'll hopefully get rid of that soon. And what's up with the bows, man? I want a bow. All right, so here we go. Um, um, let's see what else am I cut around right here? When you die in this game, you lose half of your chi, and um, you also lose your morale. Now there is a thing called revenge, which is basically the same concept as you know picking up your souls when you die. Um. You only lose half your chi, like I said. So the chi, you know, you're going to be able to accumulate that pretty well. Like, it, it, I don't think that's pretty much a, the biggest problem in the game when it comes to dying. It's more about morale. You, you want to keep that morale up because the more morale you do have, the, the stronger you are. And these, um... These opponents you fight, they have morale, and if they have more morale than you, they'll be more difficult to kill. You know, um, let me see something before I get started. I'm gonna go. Uh, I have weapons too. Now I, I just beat this boss, and um, he's got this big ass mace. I'm, I'm, I'm not really digging maces like I uh, white wooden cudgel. That's pretty cool too, I guess. But um, I guess I'm gonna have to use the big ass mace. But whatever. Um, we're still gonna keep our saber in handy because uh, I I'm 
I'm secure. I, I just want to. I just want to use a samurai sword. I'm mean, honestly, but whatever. Um, and where's my? Let's see. The deflect difficulty is lower on this, but it's, it's all good. It is all good. Um, I'm wondering if I'm fat rolling now. Doesn't look like it. Um. I mean, they, they even say to take off armor if you're fat rolling. Um, let's see, where does it say what my weight is? See, I'm new to this game too, guys, so we're going to figure it out together. Special effect details. What's that? Um, damage and food, poison, stones, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And else. Now you're all right. So the spirit gauge. You see that that gauge right below your my health bar. Every time, like you see that. So the right side is blue. The left side is is like orangish. That the or, the orange would be your enemies. Now, if your enemy has more spirit uh, spirit than you, then he's gonna fuck you up. You want to keep that spirit bar blue. And then once that spirit bar gets into the blue range, you use your you hit Y and you use your your heavy Y your spirit attack. Or, you know, you can hold right trigger and, and do a, you know, one of these spells like or whatever. I've got mar it's they're called martial arts spells. And now if you notice when I use it when I don't have anything, my see see that that going orange? If I do that enough, it'll stagger me, and that's how you get staggered in this game. It's just kind of—it's kind of like stamina. I mean, you, there is no stamina. You can swing all day, you know, swing all day, and all all fucking day. But there is the stamina when it comes to these martial arts moves. Um, I actually want to go to that. Is there any kind of martial art? Um, fucking menu. That's a good. Uh, that's a good question. That I would like to answer myself. Um, I don't think there is, guys. So sorry about that. Um, we'll figure that out. We will figure that out, and then I will tell you about it eventually. Uh, all right. Um. Okay. So. It's very important in this game to be diligent, just like in Souls. You want to explore every fucking corner, everything you can find, because there's there are not just so there's the there you know there's your regular battles battle standard flag that you know it's your like your rest point or whatever, and uh, you know it does that where you can you know set up your shit, level up, travel, blah blah blah. But there's also battle standards that raise your morale. Now, that's important. You want to, I mean, say you're about to get into a boss fight or whatever. You want you want to get that morale up. You want to try to get it up to 25 if you can. I mean, if you can't get it to 25, just just go into the boss fight, you know. And, you know don't be, just get good, you know what I mean? Uh, it's whatever. But... But, yeah, so that's something to note. You want to look for those spirit, those, uh... Every, every battle standard that you want to you find is, is important. Um, now, um, let's see, what level am I? I am, I'm level 7, so apparently I've been, I'm a little over leveled for where I'm at. Eventually you run into a blacksmith, and when you do run into a blacksmith, you can upgrade your gear... So, meaning, say, you know, you, you you like your samurai sword, but it's a level one samurai sword. You can stick with that sword, and you can upgrade it. So, you don't really have to worry about, like, you know, you know having to use weapons you don't like or whatever. So eventually, you'll be able to upgrade your weapons and your armor. Um, and also, um, it's, it's a good thing to note... You can salvage, which is basically like sell selling your gear. 
you can salvage your gear for um, things and uh, that are useful to upgrade your main set of stuff, like your main your main weapons. Um, yeah, and then um, let's see what else. Now, okay, so if you're having trouble with, the, with you know, the whole blocking or the deflecting thing, the, like the Sekiro deflecting, you know, the, the, you know, this, the B, deflect. Now, if you notice, deflecting does posture too. Now, if you land, a, a, like a deflect, you actually land one, it will go blue. So... You know, you land a good, you land a deflect. It's a good thing. You know, you know, you're you're gaining on your enemy. You you don't land one, then you're not. You're giving the, your enemy the advantage. That's important to note. But um, always keep always keep your equipment in the green bar status. Like I said, you don't want to be fat rolling. So you know, we, like uh. This thing is definitely not in the green bar, but my, what's it called is, but I, I kind of want to try this mace out, to be honest with you. So, let's see what they're talking about here. Well, it doesn't look like I'm fat rolling. So, let's put this to the test, guys. Enough of me talking and being, you know, boring. But yeah, those were some notes that I um wanted to share and just let you guys know and give you information because this game is a little complex. And uh, yeah, they put a lot into it and I'm surprised and I'm happy. I'm happy they did because I love RPGs like this. And it's cool that I can break it down to you guys and we could figure it out together, you know, and, you know, if I'm wrong or, you know, I'm not, I'm not claiming to be an expert on any of this shit, um, you know, please feel free to comment, um, tell me, you know, or tell the users whatever you think is, is vital information or good. I'm just, uh, trying to, you know, start a community here and hopefully you guys take on it, subscribe, please, and, uh, on my channel hit a like button because um it helps me and 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 you know i'm just getting started with this there's gonna be there's gonna be plenty of games ahead in the future i am so stoked for fucking resident evil 4 to come out you will definitely be seeing footage of that that that's on march 26th and oh my god dude resident evil 4 ugh best game Resident Evil 4 is the best game I've ever played first of all I'm talking about the old one so the remake I am just so stoked it's not even funny like I, I literally creamed my pants when I saw the footage of it so we will definitely definitely be be, uh, be on that one um I'm probably going to be doing Mortal Shell I'll do another playthrough for you guys on that um I already beat it a couple times so um, I know a lot about that one, so we're, we'll cover that very well. And then I might do a shellless run. So, but anyway, uh, and and also Dark Souls. We're going to be doing a lot of a lot of Souls. Or this is basically going to be a lot of Souls type games and Resident Evil games because honestly, multiplayer. You know, I I used to love multiplayer, but uh, I'm a single player guy. I love I love single player games and RPGs. So here we go. I'm gonna um. I'm going to end this video with this because I feel like I just wanted to share information and help you guys, you know, figure these stats and these crap out. It may help you, but hopefully it'll help you, you know, take down the enemies and fight that first boss and fuck them up, right? So that's the end of this video, and then we're going to get started on the next um, part of the game. And thank you guys. Please like and subscribe my video. I hope you enjoy whatever this, you know, is. And, um, and yeah, so until next time.